Hi folks, it's Merlin here, and this is Get Started. Hello and welcome to the first episode in Get Started, a series where I teach you the ins and outs of Warhammer 40,000 10th edition, utilising the brand new Ultimate Starter Set from Warhammer 40,000. So in this series we're going to go through the book, building, painting and playing our way through Warhammer 40,000 stage by stage. With this video we're going to begin our first training scenario which pits the mighty Space Marine Captain in Terminator armour against the monstrous Psychophage of the Tyranids. But in order to play out our mission we need to first build our models. You'll need the Terminator Captain plus a 50mm round base. You'll need the Tyranid Psychophage plus the 120mm oval base. You'll also need your hobby tools, a pair of modelling clippers, and a file to clean up components. Finally, then, you'll need the handbook which contains the instructions on how to build our models, located on pages 6 and 8. Alright, let's hop over to the table and we'll start building our first models. So here we are at my workstation, I've got my tools laid out and I've got my models ready to build. So we're going to work on the Psycho page first, as that's first in the instructions on pages 6 and 7. So make sure you read through your instructions, there's some nice helpful safety tips there as well to help you uh, master your tools. So I will give you a few along the way as well. So. Our first components we need are the main body. So we've got parts one, two, the tongue, and three. So we want to clip these out. So with the flat edge of your clippers facing up against the model, get as close as you can, and then pinch the plastic to cut through and remove the component from the frame. So do this all the way around. So with our three components clipped out, you'll notice that there are some small knobs left over on the models. So we're going to use a hobby file. We've got a coarse end and a fine end. So we use the coarse end for the majority of it. And we just want to file down those nubs. Any larger ones like these, we can just get removed with our clippers first and then file down the remainder. Once we have our components cleaned up, we're ready to start our assembly. So I'm going to take side one, the side with the vents, and then we're going to take part two, the tongue, and we want to push this post into the locator hole just down there. So, lining it up, and applying gentle pressure, we push it into place like so. Then we'll take part three, and we want to line up the posts on the inside here with the corresponding holes on this side, lining up gently and then firmly pushing everything together. And there we have our body built. Next up we'll build the left legs. So for this we want parts 5, 7 and 8. We'll clip these off and clean them up in the same way as we did our previous components. So bringing our body back in we can now start assembling the legs. So we'll take part five and push it in to this post here or this hole here like so part seven will go in and we have a little locator nub that will help it slide into the correct position like so and then we have the same here we've got a locator nub 
for part eight. And as we look inside, we can line up and slide the legs in. And there we have one side done. Now we'll do the same for the other side using components four, six, and nine. With our final components clipped out, we're ready to push them onto our model. So part four goes in the front. Part six will locate just in there. It raises up a little bit like that. And then part nine will push in to the back like so. And there we have our psychophage built. All we have left to do is to attach it so, to the base. On our base, we have three little holes and these will match up to three little posts. All we have to do is line them up and push them down like so. And there we have the psychophage finished. What might seem a daunting kit is actually quite simple due to the fact that it's a push fit model and has a very few component count compared to some of the larger multi-part kits available. If you want a more permanent fix to your model, check the build guide. There are yellow identification tags for, you, for where to apply glue. Use the glue carefully so you don't put too much on. Less is the best for this. Right, with that finished, let's move over to our Terminator Captain. So here we have our Terminator Captain frame and our first components we're going to need from the main, the back of the torso. So we need components 12, 13 and 14. So we have 12, 13 and 14 is the large cape component. So just like with a psychophage, we'll cut these out. So again, using the flat end of your clippers up against the component, we'll snip each piece away from the frame. Setting it aside. Until we have all our components prepped and our components ready. cut out we're ready to start filing them down so again we'll bring in our hobby file and we'll rub off the majority of the tabs before smoothing the area with the finer side Once we do that on all our components, we're ready to start assembly. Once we have our three components all cleaned up, we can start sandwiching together. So as you notice, we have half the back of the hood here and the other half here. So we want to push this post through this groove just here. And we'll line everything up neatly. And then we've got a post on the inside of the back, which goes into this tab here. Pushing the two together, we have our full torso complete. Our next component is to start assembling his arms. So we want 16 and 15 for his right arm, 19 and 17 for his left arm, as well as part 18 to complete the storm bolter. So we're starting with the right arm. We've got a post here. We've got a hole on the arm and on the inside we've got a port so we'll just line that up like so holding two components together as we push the post into our port and there we have the right arm done we'll do the same now for the left arm those components cleaned out we're ready to push them together before we do a quick word of caution so we've got a component a tab connector just here on the inside the wrist. It's kind of hard to get the file in, so you might need to ask an adult to get in with a hobby knife to get that area cleaned up. 
but moving on, we're doing the same steps as the previous arm. Uh, this time we've got to add the storm bolter half together, like so. And then we push through our port, through the hole on the shoulder pad. And then push the port onto the post. And there we have the left arm all completed. We just have a few components left to do now. So we need parts 20, 21 and 22, which are the head and the fronts of his legs. With our components prepared, we're ready to start assembling. Another word of caution, make sure you do not cut these four posts off the bottom of the feet. Otherwise you'll have a bit of a job attaching the model to his base. So we'll start with the head. We got a post on the inside of the armor there and a port hole on the back just line up and gently push the head into place you should be looking out to his left and then with the legs we've just got a single hole and a post on each just line them up and slide them on so they sit flush and our final component to do is 23 the scenic detail so we'll just clip that out and clean it up quickly now we're ready to push the two larger posts there into the holes on our 50 mil base like so now we've got the two smaller holes there which correspond with the posts on his feet. Pushing that down, we have completed our Terminator Captain. Some top tips for this model. Make sure you leave the arms separate for the moment. You may want to glue the shoulder pads into the arms and then leave the posts unattached. That way you can get to all the detail when we come to painting this guy. But for the moment, he's ready to do battle. So there we have it. We've built our first models and just you've taken your first steps onto a much larger journey of Warhammer 40,000. As I mentioned, it's a good idea to leave these, component, these models in components in order to reach certain areas. Don't glue models down to the base so you can reach the undersides, such as the abdomen of our psychophage here. What I like to do is to leave the legs, glue the legs into place and then leave it unattached to a base. That way you can reach all the details. Then glue it down to the base once you've finished painting and then apply your base texture. For the captain, like I said, leaving the arms unattached as well as leaving him unattached to his base means you can reach all those details such as the underside of the cape and loincloth there and all the underneath details of the arms there as well. And there you go, you've just built your first models. Congratulations. They're looking a little grey at the moment, so join me for part two where we start adding some colours. We'll look at painting the Psychophage first of all, as we want to add a few more details to our Space Marine Captain to make him stand out as a Blood Angel on the battlefield. So join me for that extra special episode where we'll be learning all about converting and kit bashing. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and if you'd like to see more please check out all my other videos on my YouTube channel as well as exclusives on my Patreon. So until next time on Get Started, thank you all very much for watching and stay safe and happy hobbying. Goodbye.